Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to today's vlog. Have not vlogged for a long time, and when I say long time, maybe a couple weeks. Uh, but I'm back, just been a little bit busy, so I'll give you a little update there. Uh, but first, let's stretch. Let's go. So that was a Spider-Man mountain climber with a upper body rotation. So really good warm up to do before your workout. It's one of my favorites. I do it pretty much every time before I work out. It's good for the hips, hip flexors, glutes. Uh, also you get your upper body moving too. So uh, I might do that at the beginning of every vlog, just do a stretch. Uh, that way at home you get a little idea of what you can do and kind of sneak it into your workouts. It's like every fitness YouTuber, they do, uh, they show their workouts, right? So maybe I'll do a little, a little stretch on each vlog. Uh, so also I wanted to do a little review. So it's been a little crazy couple weeks. Uh, my time, I've been a little stressed. So I've been trying to, uh, trying to get everything organized, which, you know, adding in a YouTube vlog uh, was just adding a little too much stress because it was just another thing to do. I feel a little bit better now, but still trying to figure out how to uh, manage my time and then also manage my work and maybe hiring people uh, kind of as a contractor is to take over some of the tasks that I don't personally need to do uh, so I'm doing that right now uh, trying to move my membership site my stretching membership site over to an app so working on that and trying to get that set up with the company and some other people working on designing the home page uh, so all that stuff is just taking a little time it's just everything at once so uh, the vlogs had to go for now, uh, but everything's kind of settling down a little bit. Uh, and then wanted to review. So this is one thing. Uh, you know how girls they you know they'll see a fitness person they'll be like, oh my god like what's what top is that you know, and then they buy the top. So for guys, guys don't do that. <laughs> they don't do that at all. But when I'm like when I watch someone work out, I'm like, dude, what shirt's that? That shirt looks sick. It looks like a sick workout shirt. Uh, and I'm a big fan of workout shirts that are maybe not uh, one of the big brands like Nike or Under Armour. Uh, so I like to pick up t-shirts and shorts from other companies once in a while. And this is actually from Fabletics and they have a men's brand, Fabletics Men. And so maybe I'll just do some clothing reviews. I did a Nike yoga review on my YouTube channel a long time ago. Uh, so maybe I'll do it once in a while that way uh, the guys or the females looking to buy their guys uh, gifts, you know, at least you get a, a good opinion because you don't really see that many reviews on guys' clothing. So let's go over some of the stuff from Fabletics Men that I at least got. And the, and the spokesperson is Kev Hart, and I love Kev Hart. So this t-shirt is from Fabletics Men, these shorts, and then I also bought a pair of boxer briefs. I'll just do a quick review. Uh, and the thing with Fabletics, the thing I don't like is that everything is priced really high and you have to become a member to get their discounted price. I think that's how they get people in as their business model. So you sign up, you get charged $50 and then you get the discounted rate. So this t-shirt retail is $49.95, but when you, or a member and you get the discount, uh, I think it comes out to like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, so essentially you get 50% off and that's how, how they do that. Do that. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of that. And then every month they charge you $50, which essentially becomes store credit. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of that, but I did end up picking up some shir shirts and then uh, joining. And the other thing is they make it tough for you to cancel. You can't just go online and cancel. You have to call which I don't know any company who does that. And you have to call and talk to someone and then cancel. So, uh, but I ended up picking up a t-shirt, these shorts and a pair of boxer briefs a long time ago, right before 
uh, it was their first launch and I picked up a medium t-shirt and just as reference I'm 6'2", 6'3", 195 pounds right now and on the website they had a model on there and it said 6'2", and they had a medium shirt. I don't know if that 6'2", should have been six feet because this thing is tiny on me. I mean, it is tiny, raised my arms overhead, over my belly button. Uh, so I ended up getting a large on this last order and I don't know if you can see this. So it still comes to, I mean, it's right at my hip level. So even the large is still kind of small but I do like the fit. It's one of the better fits of a t-shirt that I like. I kind of like the fitted t-shirt that's a little bit on the tighter side. Uh, and then also it's a little bit thicker. So I did a Nike yoga review and I had one of their t-shirts. I liked it because it was longer, but it's very soft. You know, it's very, very thin, very, very soft. And sometimes I don't like that too much. Um, so this is a little bit thicker, these t-shirts. And they're also like a little see-through. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little bit sheer. You can't really tell, like this is kind of see-through, but you can't really tell. But I mean, if that's kind of a big issue, if this is stretchy and you're wearing a super small shirt and you're big, then you might see through it a little bit. Uh, but I am a fan of the t-shirt. It's probably the thing I like the most out of the things I bought. The shorts, these are meat. These are medium and just above the knee. I think these are, I forgot what inseam these are. And I have Lululemon shorts. I have these other kind of boutique uh, brand athleisure shorts. And these I'm not that big of a fan of. I would say they're like a six out of 10. I'd still wear them, but they have kind of a board short feeling to it. Uh, where Lululemon's like some of them are very soft, very thin, very soft. Another brand that I have, it's a little bit thicker, um, but these are kind of in between. So it literally feels like, like a Billabong board short, which I'm not a fan of for a workout short. So these shorts, all right, I'd still maybe buy them, um, but they're not my first choice. And then boxer briefs, uh, these are medium. I don't know if I said that. And then boxer briefs. Uh, I hate these things. They say they're soft, and I saw some of the reviews like they're the softest underwear that I've ever worn. It feels kind of rough, to be honest. It's a little rough to me. I have Calvin Klein underwear. I have American Eagle underwear. It's way softer than this. So I wouldn't even touch this. Even the band doesn't feel the greatest. So underwear, no, don't do that. And that's pretty much it for the review. Uh, maybe I'll do more of these. I don't know. I have so many vlogs I want to do and uh, I got to fill them up somehow. And, uh, you know, I like these. I'm always looking for better t-shirts and quality shorts that I can wear during workouts, but also if I just want to wear them out, um, you know, just to do daily tasks and errands. I, that's, I live in workout stuff, so it's pretty important to me and I, they last a long time. So that's it for this vlog. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>